This is a Cellubration.com review of the MWG Atom Life. Before we look at the phone, I want to point out some of the accessories that actually comes with the Atom Life. Uh, first, if we take a look here, we can see that we have a standard USB AC outlet here with the mini USB connector. Now, one of the advantages about the, uh, connection on the connection on this device is that by pushing this button, we can actually slide off this US adapter and replace it with the adapters that come with the device. We have some EU and UK uh, plugs here. That means this is perfect for somebody who may be traveling outside of the country a lot, needs access to different types of power outlets throughout the world. And that's really what this device focuses on. The business applications, the portability, and being able to use the device really wherever you are, whenever you need to. So let's move away really quick from those AC adapters and move on to the data sync cable. The phone comes standard with the data sync cable which makes it uh, very easy to hook up to your PC, download any information or upload any information that you may need to. We have a standard mini USB connector here and then your standard USB uh, cable for your computer. And then aside from the data cable, it also comes with a stereo wired headset. You can see here that there is actually 2.5 millimeter jack, which actually goes into a dedicated port on the phone, which is great if you're an audiophile like myself and you really want to be able to take full advantage of media files on your uh, unit. And then also we have your end and call button here and a clip so you can use the, uh, use the device to answer calls if you have your headset plugged in. And then we have our standard earbuds here. And the device even comes with some extra earbuds in different sizes and um, some of the standard ones in case you may happen to lose any of, those, uh, any of those pieces. And then finally we have our standard user manual here. I think MWG did a really good job of really marketing the product well and uh, really gearing it towards a nice appeal to the consumer. So then here's the actual box. You can see some of the specs on the box here. We're going to go ahead and open that up to reveal the actual device. This is the MWG Atom Life. As you can see, the phone is actually pretty small. It fits well into the palm of my hand. Um, it comes in with a length of 106 millimeters and a width of only 58 millimeters. And the uh, thickness on it is about 18 millimeters, so about 0.75 uh, inches, so three quarters of an inch. Now over here on the actual device itself, first we have the, uh, the stylus. I'm going to go ahead and remove that real quick. Then next to that we have the power on, power off button, which is right here. And that also takes the phone out of standby, and we can just show you that real quick. You can see that the phone powers on very quickly. And then next to that we do have a mini SD adapter. Um, one thing I found out about the mini SD adapter is there's actually a hack that will allow you to use a mini SDHC or a micro SDHC with a mini adapter for it. So let's go ahead and push that back in for now. Um, on the left side of the device we have our volume controls. Kind of toggle through that for you. You can increase or decrease the volume of the phone. Then down at the bottom left hand side here it still has the IR port which is great because it takes about three to four times less power to use an IR port than it does to use Bluetooth. So if you're just downloading small files, not a bad idea. Now we have our reset button, followed by a mini USB port, which is used again for data syncing and for charging the device. And there's that very nice dedicated 2.5 millimeter headset jack, which is great for accessing the very easy to access media player, which we'll see in a moment. Then over here we have our camera button. This is for quick access to the camera and video functions. Um, you can use both of those. And then a quick uh, shortcut button here that'll lead us, if I click on it, right into our notes. So let me just click out of there. Um, one of the reasons I talked about that uh, camera button being very nice is because right here we have a flash camera, two megapixels, um, on the back of the camera, which is very easy to access. But then also, if we flip the device over, right here we have a CMOS VGA camera, which is perfect for video conferencing on the device itself. Um, also, one nice thing about that uh, headset jack is that down here on the phone, this bottom right-hand corner, we actually have a shortcut key, which will lead us directly into the phone's media player. You see I click there, it brings the media player right up. So that's a nice little function to have. Then we have our Windows button here, which can open and close our Windows key, as you can see. Um, the, call, the call and answer key, and then we also have the end key. And then in the middle here, we have the ability to not only navigate between the phone, as you can see, but also helps to adjust volume when you're listening to songs or to go between tracks and to select different functions. And then, of course, we have our soft keys. This one brings us into our phone. You can see it's actually a very nice keypad, very easy to touch the keys on it, um, which makes it very easy to use. And even touching my finger to the keypad without the stylus is easy. 
And then I have our contacts here, which is just your standard contact list, and I have no contacts in there right now. Now one of the things, as you may have noticed, is this device runs very quickly, and that's because of that Intel processor that's running at 624 megahertz. Um, while that can drain your battery a little bit faster, there is a power saving mode which will reduce the, uh, the amount of megahertz you're pushing out of the processor and allow battery life to be saved. Now if we just go real quick, I'm going to click right here on the device, brings us into our media center. Here we have the phone on and off, data on and off, Bluetooth on and off, wireless on and off, and all wireless on and off. And you can see the TIAR7WRD means right now I am connected to Wi-Fi. So let me just go ahead, hit start here, and go to Internet Explorer. See how quickly that pops up. I have Facebook as the page right now, but let me just go to, let's say, Google real quick. So I go to Google, and oh, let me hit enter right there. And you can see how quickly Google pops up. Let's say I want to look at this Clinton, Obama, get uh, fiercely personal. A lot of political stuff going on right now. I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, let me actually click on the link. And there you go. I click on the link. You can see how quickly this loads. I can kind of scroll through all of the documentation. If I want to look at the top stories, there you go, FedEx Kinko's, uh, King Honored across the Chicagoland area. You see how quickly the Wi-Fi works on this. That's the 802.11b over G Wi-Fi. Here's a nice part about this device. If you look right here, I don't have any cellular networks coming up right now. I don't have the SIM card in the actual mobile unit. However, I'm still able to use the Wi-Fi without a problem. So really, this can work perfectly as a PDA if you're not using the phone function for whatever reason. Um, aside from that, it's also important to notice that this phone has one gigabyte of onboard memory already installed in the unit and 64 megabytes of RAM. I would have liked to see a little bit more RAM. Let me get that out of standby. But as you can see, it doesn't seem to have a problem making the phone work. I can even go into mobile office here and let's just say I want to open up the Word document that I just scribbled with earlier. It pulls my document right up. I can access the keyboard, type in the document, um, which is a very nice feature. And if you don't want to use the keyboard, there's also the letter recognizer and block recognizer. So I can use, there you go, create the letter D and use that for handwriting recognition. Uh, the device comes with Windows Mobile 5.0. However, it is upgradable to Windows 6.0, which means um, you'll be able to edit Word documents on it as well as just view them. Um, one of the nice parts about this phone is it does have a standby time of 200 hours with talk time of 4 hours on GSM and two hours if you're using the voice calling on UMTS. Um, the phone itself is tri-band, which means here in the US, you're only gonna be able to use it really on the T-Mobile network, and then in Canada on Rogers and Fido. And on T-Mobile, you'll be able to use the edge internet access, whereas in the rest of the world, you could actually use the 3.5G wireless access, which will give you four to five times faster connections than standard 3G. So really, this phone can be used anywhere in the world, simply, plug in your SIM card and you're ready to go. It is fully unlocked. And as you can see, it has a pretty nice screen. It's a 2.7 inch screen, QVGA LCD display, 240 by 320 um, pixels of resolution, and it supports up to 262,000 colors. Um, also on the device, as I was pointing out earlier, oh, let me get out of the owner information there. If I click on the uh, information here, you see there is Bluetooth. The phone supports Bluetooth 1.2, so you can hook up to three applications. Um, at the same time, it supports A2DP. I actually tested it on a Motorola S9 headset and got great results. I was able to hear uh, my music no problem and, of course, access it with this easy-to-access button. So you really do get a lot of audio functions out of the device. And to be quite honest, um, the device itself offers a nice, sleek look um, that's reminiscent of HTC devices, while at the same time, really making its, making its own statement um, as far as the functionality that it has from the um, onboard media center that it offers to the added cameras to basically the power saving functions by allowing you to change that processor like I stated before. Um, overall, the device itself offers worldwide English. It offers um, fast processing. I haven't had it freeze up in the uh, five or six days that I've been using it pretty much constantly. Um, even with the Opera browser and some third-party applications, I haven't had a problem or noticed any slowdown in speeds. Um, I will note that I tend to close my applications when I'm not using them. I've read reviews about a lot of devices that freeze up, and that comes from a lot of these guys who think they should be able to run 97 applications on their device at once. And let's face it, um, even with a 624 megahertz processor, you probably want to limit it to only a few items being opened at once. So again, that's just kind of a quick overview of the uh, MWG Atom Life. 
We do have a full written review located at the Celebration.com website, as well as forums if you'd like to ask questions or maybe help answer some questions for other viewers. Um, overall, the MWG Atom Life right now has a price tag of $499.95. Um, it's being listed currently with free ground shipping from um, mobileplanet.com, so Expansis is currently listing that at $499.95. So take a look at it there and also visit Celebration.com for more information. Thank you.